It's open. Hi. I'm Jill Tanner. Don Baker. Just hope you don't mind me inviting myself in. Um, oh. Could you? Because um, you have to do a lot of work before you even get the actors in here. I did a lot of research into uh, the 60s period and also just um, the play in general. And doing all that kind of research, um, also going through the script, making my notations, figuring out what kind of actors I need, you know, so that when I go through the audition process I can be like, oh, they have that quality that I think is really essential. It's a small cast and so we're very much just, you know, a family. We all share the same dressing room. Each week you build on the show, usually the first week is um, getting to know the scripts and getting to know the characters and then you get into blocking and then you get into line memorization and then finding flow and so forth and so on. I, I, we pretty much would rehearse every day. So um, pretty much six days a week. Sometimes we would have a Saturday off, but we might have a Saturday rehearsal depending on how it's going. The night of the show, we would get here around probably six, about two hours before the show starts. And that gives us time to uh, get together, do some warm ups, which we would do usually. We'll start up there though, up in the dressing room, uh, get into makeup, get into hair, start getting our costumes on. Got a month to go. Well, why did you tell her you had a party last night? <laughs> Boy, you don't miss anything in there, do you? Not much. I always tell her I've had a party. Or some people think this is that you have to be a theater major, theater minor to get involved. And that's totally not true. We have people backstage who are uh, like on headset and they're the ones who help, like the run crew helps switch over between scenes. They help get rid of some props that aren't in that scene and bring out the new props. And it's a black box theater. And uh, so basically any sort of configuration can happen for production. We were able to bring the seats really close into the set almost and it kind of gives them the feel almost that they're in the apartment and that they're in the story. And I think that for this as a comedy and it's a small cast of only four characters, four actors, so I think that it's really great that it keeps them involved and keeps them really, um, it, it's, it provides them with a really intimate experience. It's just a great feel-good comedy, you know, you enter, you laugh, you might cry a little, there's a few t really touching moments, and you leave the theater happy, which is, I don't know, it's a great thing. It's a, it's a really good time, it's a fun show, and uh, we hope everyone comes out and gets a chance to check it out. Right. Come see Butterflies Are Free, um, Thursday at 8 o'clock, Friday at 8 o'clock, and Saturday at 8 o'clock. Um, you have to reserve tickets at the box office, um, and those are free for undergrads, seven dollars for a grad student, and ten for general admission. Butterflies are free.